Hello, this is Andy from the Engineers Academy, and in this video series, we're going to be looking at work solutions to the Unit 1 Engineering Principles exam that will be sat by students studying a BTEC Level 3 National in Engineering. Now, the document that we're referring to in particular today are the sample assessment materials for the Unit 1 Engineering Principles exam, and this document is Issue 2 that is or has previously been available on the Edexcel website. Question 4 states, the total noise level of three compressors can be represented by the equation log 24 equals log z plus 2 log 2. And it goes on to say where z is the unknown noise level of the third compressor. And the question asks us to solve the equation to find the value of z. And it also specifies that we need to show evidence of the use of the laws of logarithms in your answer. Now just before we begin with this question, I just want to draw your attention to some log laws. And the first log law that we have states that m log a is exactly the same thing as log a to the n. And a second log law that we're going to use here states that log a minus log b is exactly the same thing as log of a over b. They're interchangeable. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use these log laws to reduce the equation at the top there. Now it's probably worth mentioning that a question very similar to this was in issue one of the sample assessment materials. And here it is again in issue two of the sample assessment materials. Now what that indicates to me is that the likelihood is a question very similar, if not identical to this, is likely to appear in the exam. It's obviously a question that's been favoured by the awarding body. So let's move on to our solution then. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use the first log law there and I'm going to use it to modify this term. And let's write out what we have. We have log 24 equals log z plus 2 log 2. But 2 log 2 is the same as log 2 squared. We know that from this first log law. So instead, I can write log 24 equals log z plus log 2 squared. Well, 2 squared is just 4. So again, we can rewrite this. And the way we can rewrite this is log 24 equals log z plus log 4. Now at this stage it's important to note that the thing we're trying to find is z. So if I want to get z on its own, the first thing I need to do is isolate log z or get log z on its own. And I'm going to do that by subtracting log 4 from each side. So what I'll end up with is log z equals log 24 minus log 4. Now it's at this stage that I can take advantage of our second log law that states that log a minus log b equals log a over log b. Because what we have is log 24 minus log 4. And that means we can rewrite this because log z equals log, and instead of 24 minus log 4, I can do that as 24 over 4. Now here's the important observation here. 24 over 4 is just a number, and that number is 6. So what we have now is we have log z equals log 6. Well, if log z equals log 6, then hopefully you can see from inspection that z must equal 6. So we've found the value of z and we've used logarithms in the process.